Hey guys, subscribe for daily knife content. And if you're shopping for knives and gear, make sure you check out the description of the video you're watching right now for links to some great online retailers. There's also individual links for knives that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another interesting knife review slash knife overview to share with you guys. This is the Concept Knives Little Main Street in what I assume is burlap micarta. It does come in G10 and also there's a carbon fiber variant. I will link this and all the different variants right down below in the description so you can check them out if you want. I'll also link Concept Knives in general if you want to see what else they've got going on. Thank you so much to Concept Knives for sending this in for review. And thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. You can find my Patreon right down in the description as well. And please follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. All right, let's go ahead and get a measurement of this guy. Not a big knife. This is actually a pretty teeny tiny little knife. Overall length is coming in at five and a half inches. Blade length is coming in at about 2.3. Cutting edge is coming in at a, also about 2.3 inches. Let's go ahead and do some size comparisons up against the Ontario Rat 1 and rat two you can see here not a big knife not even close let's go ahead and do the spyderco pm2 and para three same kind of thing here very teeny tiny little knife and last but not least the benchmade griptilian or in this case the ritter hogue and its little brother the benchmade mini griptilian even the mini griptilian managing to make this thing look itty bitty Let's go ahead and do a hardware check on this guy. We'll get out my tools. As per usual, my tools are very inexpensive and very recommendable. You can find them right down in the description. I'm gonna guess like most other concepts I've handled and most other knives I've handled in general. T8 on the pivot, yep. And I'm not gonna check the body screws. Those are T6. Fine, uh, pretty minimal, not a whole lot of screws on this guy. Just be careful if you're going to take this apart. T6 screws can strip if you're not paying attention to what, what you're doing. Student, go ahead and do a uh, carry profile. So thickness up against the Spyderco Para 3. You can see here that this is a little tiny bit thinner than the Spyderco Para 3. Not by much, but that's fine. Uh, length and height up against the PM2 and Para 3. You can see here it is nowhere near as long or as tall as either. So yeah, this is just not going to be an overly cumbersome object. Let's take a look at the inside. You can get my uh, flashlight right down in the description as well. Uh, let's turn this down just a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, you've got the uh, solid micarta on one side, and then you have the um, countersunk or inlaid steel liner lock on the other. Uh, blade stock thickness on this guy, not going to be super thick. Probably going to be, might be less than a tenth of an inch. Mm, oh no, okay, 117 thousandths, probably 115 thousandths then. That's fine, not a big deal. Weight in this guy, you're looking at not a lot of steel and not a lot of micarta. So I'm going to guess this weighs about 1.5 ounces. Yup, 1.45 ounces. That's fine. Uh, I don't know that anybody could make an argument that this is cumbersome in any way. <laughs> as long as you're wearing pants, I imagine that'll carry just fine. Though I will say a knife of this size, you have to remind yourself that it's in your pocket. Because if not, it's going to get washed. That's happened to me many times. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this here. This is in micarta. I got I to tell you guys, a lot of people like, I'm assuming this is burlap micarta. It's smooth, right? Um, I think this type of micarta looks kind of gross. Um, the, the canvas micarta, for example, like a, a knife that I handled here recently or a company that does the micarta really well, um, CGRB and Artisan Cutlery, that micarta that they do on like the Arroyo, uh, on the Centros, on the, um, uh, what is that other one called? The, not, the, 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 oh my gosh, I've got it right here. The, uh, CGRB, blah, what is this? <laughs> I forget what this is called right now for whatever reason. Does it say? No. Anyways, the micarta version of that, that stuff looks good to me. I think this stuff does not look good, but... Maybe that's a preference thing. I'm sure there's somebody out there going, I think that looks really nice. I don't know. I, this just doesn't look... Eh. We have these areas, right? These lighter brown areas and the darker brown, and it kind of doesn't feel... Kind of just looks and feels poopy. Uh, I got to be honest with you. That's just kind of my opinion. But, okay. Um, it's... I mean, as far as what this material is and how it looks is one thing, but how it's done, it's all put together, it's fine. 
Um, we do have a couple little areas up here where it's kind of fraying out a little bit. I think that's just the nature of micarta in general. Um, but yeah, not my favorite micarta aesthetically. But fitment on everything is great. Fit and finish is pretty good. You know, I, I don't really have any complaints. Funny thing is, is that the thumb studs are in a position that I didn't think I'd be able to really deploy this, right? And I thought, okay, I can deploy it. No way I'll be able to do the reverse flick. Actually, you can. Um, it's amazing how easy that is to deploy. It's pretty smooth. This thing runs on bearings. Um, and, uh, yeah, there's a, I don't know, kind of a satisfaction and fidget factor there because it's so tiny, right? Um, once again, this is a concept. So we have T2015A5, right? Don't need that. 154 CM though, which is pretty cool. The concept logo as every day goes, every, every new concept that I handle, every time I look at that, it's too far out on the blade. It should be back here. Lose the code right here and just put the concept logo right beside the steel. On this side, we have Dirk Pinkerton, which is fine. Then they write his name again underneath it, Dirk Pinkerton. Don't need to do that. And then they put Little Main Street on it. Again, we don't need to do that. I know what it is because I would have purchased it, right? I say that every time with concept knives, but it's just silly. I don't, I don't know why companies do that, but okay. It's not hindering it in any way. Uh, it's just text on a blade. Thumb stud is uh, in the cutting path and you don't have a lot of cutting edge. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of taken a big chunk of that um, out of there. But I mean, if they put it up higher, honestly, it probably would have been fine up higher. I, I think they probably should have moved the thumb stud up here. It's fine where it is, but they could have moved it up there and it wouldn't have been nearly as much in the cutting path. Not that big of a deal. It's not a very big knife, right? So it's not like you're, oh no, what, how am I ever going to cut anything? No, you're going to be just fine. Tumbling looks great. I love the tumbling that uh, Kaiser does on their blades. The edge is done very well. Uh, very even on both sides. Final cutting bevel looks great, right? Um, not a lot of thickness up here to begin with. It does come down to a reasonably thin edge, though thinner than you might think, you know, such a small knife, but it's fine. This is a modern uh, Warncliffe, almost like a tactical Warncliffe, whatever. I, I like uh, smaller knives with these blades so I can really I can rest my finger down here up by the nose right, and do a very controlled draw cut. I like that. I find that these these types of blades for EDC are just except, uh, exceptional. I really, really like it. Flat that carries out about 80% the length of the blade, and reasonable thickness out to the tip. You've got edges knocked down up here, which is nice. That's great. We have an interesting choice on the jimping up here on the spine. Funny thing is, is because we have the texturing on either side of the spine, it makes it kind of non-functional. Kind of interesting to look at. Why wouldn't we just do regular jimping? I mean, okay, it is what it is. Not the big, it's not like I'm like, I need jimping on this or I can't use it. No, not really. <laughs> so that's fine. Um, we've got a couple of simple standoffs back here. Stop pin right there. Same pin that's used in the closed position. So that's fine. I don't think there's any, oh no, there is. There's some shouldering right there. So that's nice. Pocket clip, titanium. That's pretty cool considering what this guy costs, which isn't very much. I like it. I don't think it needs to be that long. I think you could have cut it off about right here. Would have been fine. Can't say it's much of a hot spot because truthfully, I can't get more than a three finger grip on this guy. And I mean, it's not terrible ergonomically, but there's just not a lot of ergonomic lines. It's a sim pretty simple handle shape. I'm not, you know, Considering where I would use this knife, right, I'm not imagining a scenario where I'm like really needing a, a secure grip on this guy and I'm like worried about, you know, if I'm going to drop it or slip off of it. No. So the pocket clip isn't that much of a problem. It just doesn't need to be so long. But it, it does look nice, right? I think it would look a lot better if it was like right here. I think it would look a lot better. But it's titanium, so that's good. It does have that continuous rise. Truthfully, in and out of the pocket, this thing's a breeze. It carries really well. Um, it, it carries so well that, like I said, you'll forget that it's there. Lock up on this guy. Very early. You guys watch me right there how I opened it? I didn't uh, snap it out. If I snap this thing out, it's a little more in there. And it engages in a way that makes it totally solid. I pushed on this thing to be sure. Now, if I do this, it doesn't lock up. Try to... You have to push it really hard. A knife should lock out no matter what, even if I'm just doing this. That should lock it, but it doesn't. Now, maybe I got a bad one, right? Lockup's too early, basically, is what I'm saying. See, it's failing right there. 
It's too early. We can't have. We gotta have. That's why people fetishize early lockup. No, it needs to be later than that. It needs to be contacting enough of the tank, even in, in like this. Like if I, here's the thing. If I pull this out of my pocket and I open it up right here, it's not secure. Well, it did that time. <laughs> it's gonna prove me wrong. If I open it up like this and use it, yeah. See, it's just disengaging, right? And there are times where I open my knife up like this, right? And it's it's only like a quarter percent, uh, like 25 percent of the time. Now, if I open it like that, yeah, it's gonna lock up. If I do the reverse flick, did it lock up? Nope. Came off that time. I don't want to have to fire this thing hard to lock it out. Like I said, maybe I got a bad one, but that's a deal breaker right there. I don't care how good the rest of the knife is. It's got to lock up. It's got to. 25 to 50% lock up is where a new knife should be. Um, I mean, even in the firing this thing as hard as I can, we're still not locking up anywhere close to that. Now, it's fine. It's secure here. Right? But again, not locking out. I probably could fix this by taking it apart. There's that trick where you can like move one side down and one side up and then reattach everything to get the lock bar to engage further over. And that has worked in the past for me. But I want this to come out of the gate. You know, I mean, it's a little knife, but geez, if it disengages, you're going to end up with a nasty cut on your finger, right? It's a locking knife. It should lock. Um, this isn't something that I expect to see in 2021, right? This is a 2020 model, I think. But yeah, no. Um, and again, maybe I got a bad one here, guys. But that's got to be, that has to be right on. And it's got to be perfect. Centering is a little bit off. I've been firing this thing like crazy. Let's see if I can turn it and get it to um, center up here real quick sure that I can get it. Yeah, it was it was plenty loose. There we go. It's fine now. But yeah, it was it was just plenty loose. Is it still action is still good? I wonder if maybe no. Yeah, it's, it's still having that issue where it doesn't want to lock out. It's just the lock bar is just not wanting to engage, right? Um, there's also no cutout <laughs> for access to the like this area right here, needs, there needs to be a scallop or needs to be a cutout right here so you can engage the um, liner lock. You know, I like the, uh, I like the, here's the thing. If this, num first and foremost, if it locked out reliably, that's that's huge, right? If the micarta was not this gross, I just don't like how this micarta looks. That's a personal thing. Pocket clip needs to be shorter, right? But yeah, this actually would have been really cool um, if those things were all the case there, right? Because I love the little Warncliffe blade. I think a lot of people will like this, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, this uh, this knife, you know, when it's de when you deploy it, right? Uh, when you deploy it, like using a thumb stud, it's going to lock out. It just doesn't lock out when you do this, which is a bummer. So, yeah, I don't know. The other thing that kind of bothers me is the pocket clip screws stick up, right? How much is this knife? Base version of this knife in G10 is 65 bucks, which is a pretty good deal considering you're getting 154 cm. This one, they want 72 for, okay. The carbon fiber one, they all they want like 70. <laughs> they want 2 bucks more for my Carta. Um, all right. Not a bad price if everything, you know, Honestly, my, if the micarta was different, if the pocket clip was shorter, and especially if it locked up the way that it was supposed to every time, yeah, I'd be like, oh my gosh, yeah, this is super cool. Pick this up. But man, that's frustrating to get a lock that doesn't always lock out. That should not be an issue. Say this again, it's very possible that I just got a bad one. And that's going to, I don't care what year it is. I don't care what knife we're talking about, right? There's always going to be a certain percentage, no matter how small, even if it's 0.001%, there's always going to be a certain percentage of knives, you know, whether they're handmade, semi-customs, right, or they're production knives. There's going to be a few anomalies, right? There's going to be, it's just the way that it's going to be. So if you want to roll the dice, find out if mine was just a dud, you know, you're welcome to. I'll link it down below. Uh, it's really hard for me to say, yeah, recommendable. Let's just cross our fingers and hope that yours isn't like that. No. Um, gotta, 
got to go with my, you know, with my observations here, and that's, uh, it's not recommendable because the one that I have is not locking up correctly. Um, so I have not experienced that, though, truthfully, with concepts. This is the only time that I've experienced that. Everything else that I've received from them has been put together with 100% maximum quality. Uh, never had an issue. Maybe it's because this thing is so small, right? I don't know. Everything else that I've handled has been great. Do not shy away from the concept company just because I handled one that has kind of a goofy lock, right? I've seen that with many other companies and I still trust their overall quality, right? So yeah, it's, I don't think this is a good representation of what they normally offer. I think this is just, I think this is just a weird scenario where I got kind of a dud, but anyways, guys, that's going to be pretty much it for today's review. Uh, I hope this was at least mildly entertaining. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.